YouTube, man. We back with another reaction video, man. This is um, Larry Bird hates the asshole. Larry, what? what? Scratch that, cause I ain't, I ain't about to edit that shit out. <laughs> so I'm gonna just restart it. But it says James Worthy hates the asshole Larry Bird to this day, and this is why. So we about to tap in. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we almost at 10,000 subs, man. We climbing. Um, check out the description box. Follow all my social media accounts. Uh, with that being said, we're about to hop right into it, man. Let's get it. Donate to the channel, too, and drop comments. Let's get it. James Worthy recently appeared on the Knuckleheads podcast with Quentin Richardson and Darius Smiles. The trio had an interesting discussion that revolved around numerous subjects. However, one of the most intriguing segments was Worthy's response to the start, bench, and trade question. So I bench trade. You got to trade first. You got to start one. You got to bench one. Iceman, Dr. J, Larry Bird. Who do you start? Who do you bend? Who do you trade? Iceman is buckets anywhere on the floor. That's a fact. I told you I had one of my best defensive games ever <laughs> against Iceman. The assistant coach, Bill Berker, came up to me and he's like, best defense ever against Ice. I've never seen anybody play. A defense against ice like you did. You got through every pick. Your hand was in his face. You you were physical with him. You did everything. And I looked at Coach. I said, I said, Coach, he he just dropped forty seven on me. What are you talking about? That's tough. He said, Don't worry about the points. He said, Don't worry about the points. Just worry about the. I said, All right. So I, I got to keep ice. Ice done. While his response might surprise some, his reasoning for his choices makes sense. Right after got the opinion, but I'm picking the start, Bird. He explained why he cannot pass on the legendary Celtic, Larry Bird. Dr. J. Bird. I grew up a Dr. J fan, but Larry, Larry Bird. Bird. <laughs> I got to keep Larry. <laughs> because Doc didn't really have the outside shot. Yeah. He could get to the bucket. Ice could do it all from anywhere. Yeah. Larry. Larry more all around. Just flat out score and give you numbers. Uh, and all around. There were times where he would come out of a timeout. I remember this one time. You might have heard this before because he did with a lot of people. I had to guard him. You know the play is coming, but he would tell you it's coming. He tells you to play. <laughs> you know, with DJ Hamlin, Robert's going to, Mikhail's going to set a flash pick for, for Robert. But Robert, that's only to free him up to come and set a pick for me. He says, if you trail, I'm going to trail into the lane and do a little float. And he said, if you fucking pop, he said, if you try to get over the top, he said, I'm going to pop to that corner and bust a jump. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you. I'm, I'm all the corner. <laughs> You know, I got his shirt tail. I'm holding it. That's you, know, hilarious. You, know, you know where I'm from. I'm from Gastonia. I mean, he ain't talking. He ain't sure enough, man. The ball comes in. <laughs> DJ takes a couple of dribbles. I'm quick. I'm quick enough. I think I can get over the top. I, I, I get over the top. I get out there, but he pops to the corner, and I'm running. He kind of waits. <laughs> 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 He was an asshole. Worthy continued to tell how Bird dominated the All-Star Three Points Contest, not only by shooting, but also with his legendary trash-talking skills. Larry Bird used to, at the All-Star game, for a few years, he would go into the locker room, and all the contestants would be over there. Three-point contest? All the three-point contestants would be sitting in there, about to go out. And he would walk in. He did this for like three, or three years in a row, and he was like, which one of y'all is coming in second? <laughs> and he would just walk out and win the damn thing. He was that good. I didn't like it, but he was he was that good. He walk out with that one finger. <laughs> yeah, that one finger is crazy. When it comes to rivalry, no two teams can match the Lakers and the Celtics. These two teams are essentially locked in an epic, Islander style, a long battle for NBA superiority, and it is far from over. And as we can learn from the words of big game James Worthy, the competitive hate still exists, even 40 years later. Tell us in the comments, what is your favorite bird against the Lakers moment? If you enjoy this video, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. That was a good, that was a, that was a decent video, man. I like these little stories, man. That's why I got like a, uh, I got a bunch of them about the, um, I'm gonna drop. Cause I've been finding like, uh, cause I've been doing like a lot of, uh, Larry Bird, him actually playing. But I've been, uh, I was like, man, I'm about to just go on like a run where, um, I'm reacting to people actually talking about him and his peers and stuff like that. So 
Uh, this shit been actually dope as fuck, man. I appreciate everybody that's, that's tapped in. Um, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. Um, we gonna get to 10,000 subs tonight. Tonight, I guarantee it. I guarantee by the time I wake up, it's gonna be 10K. Let's get it. But hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay safe, stay tuned, and we out.